We are gathered here to celebrate love, pure and simple. Rachel is pure, Sydney is simple. <laughs> Tell us something that's interesting that happened during this movie off screen that we'd, we'd love to know. Because it's always fun for us to meet the people who make movies and get a window into what happened on the other side. Were there any interesting anecdotes or disasters that happened or funny s moments? Um, it turns out smoking's addictive. Um, <laughs> You, you told one another Q&A that cracked me up because I'd forgotten that it happened, was we were doing a scene, I, I, I think it was, um, I think it was the pregnancy scene, it might have been, and uh, we'd been shooting it all day, shooting it all day, and um, Jonathan came in, and I think we all felt pretty good about it because it was like, you know, really moving and slick and, you know, everything you want it to be, and Jonathan comes in, he's like, yeah, um, remember this morning when you were all kind of bad? Maybe try that again. <laughs> and like before you had your coffee and you didn't really know your lines. And you didn't can know what you were doing. Can you do it like that? Because right now it's just too Right now you're acting slick. too yeah. much. And, and, and so maybe pull that back a little bit. So I just, I love that concept of act badly. You know, and it was, in a weird way, it was easy so, and not yeah. painful, even though there's a lot of struggle up there. Well, it's, um, I have another anecdote, but in, in res <laughs> so many. Um, but in response to that, I was thinking about it the other day because, you know, in, in describing this process again and again and again and trying to, you know, figure it out from different perspectives, it didn't actually feel like, we, we weren't actually making a movie because we never knew where the camera was going to be. So there was no concept of acting for the camera or acting with the idea that it was eventually going to be something. I, at least that's the way I looked yeah. at it. It was very much like doing theater, being in the moment, you know, kind of actively listening to everyone in the scene, being engaged, and the camera would just pick up where it picked up and, and get what it was gonna get. And that was that was really special and, and uh, at least for me very rare. Every day it's getting closer, going faster than a roller coaster. A love like yours will surely come my way. You know this the at the um uh, the, the, the actual wedding, the, the moment, the exchanging of vows, um, there's a, an amazing moment where Deborah and Bill embrace. Mm. That wasn't scripted. That was, um, Deborah had decided that as soon as, the, as soon as the ceremony was done, she was going to walk out. She had told Jonathan that was gonna be her character choice. And there was one take where she and Bill bumped into each other and the camera was there and they looked up at each other and without talking about it, without it having been rehearsed anything, they both leaned forward and just grabbed each other at the same time and embraced and that's the moment that's in it. It was the only time it happened. Uh, you couldn't have planned it if you, I think it told, if Jonathan had told him to do it, if it had been the script, it wouldn't have been as meaningful and like just little, I don't know, drops of magic are in them or in the movie all over the place like that. It's it's Well they're really good. Like they might oh, have a career. Good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like the two of them. Yeah. That's a good grand finale. Congratulations to you both. And thank you all for joining us tonight. <laughs>